Hey everyone, John from Nintendo Life here, and let me tell you about a little guy called The Man. The Man says the Nintendo Switch Online N64 controller, this thing, should only be used on the Nintendo Switch Online N64 app. Well I say, that's a bunch of poppycock. I say, we march down to City Hall and- Oh, actually, I've just been informed it can be used on anything. So let's do that. But before we go playing around with a bunch of games, this is the controller. And you can take a closer look in just a moment, but before that... Here is a standard N64 controller, a blue one. And uh, the main difference... This one has a wire, and it's tugging on my light. Whereas this one cannot tug on my light, for there is no wire. Okay, so here is the big boy in all its beauty. And it very much is, surprise surprise, a Nintendo 64 controller. I kind of expected a few modern adjustments, like maybe some kind of new material on the stick, but no, this is as plasticky and hard as it's ever been. Everything is as you'd expect. It feels like it does to hold a regular controller. Uh, all that's new is a few buttons on the back, and we'll get into those in just a moment, and the memory pack and the rumble pack slots has been filled. This can't come out, it's just hard plastic, but this controller does have rumble in it, which is very cool. But yeah, let's look at these buttons on the back a moment. So right here is the home button. There's also a ZR button, and the reason that's there is when you're playing N64 games, this opens up the, the menu, like the, the quick save and quick resume and go back to the selection menu. And there's also a capture button and a sync button. But other than that, yeah, this is essentially as you'd think it would be. But there's one thing that I really like about this controller over the NES and Super Nintendo controllers, and that is it has dual analog sticks. And you might be looking at this and saying, John, no it doesn't. But yeah, these digital C buttons actually do function as a second stick in all non-Nintendo 64 games, which is very cool. This makes this a very uh, diverse controller and can be used in many, many games. But before we jump in, let's just do a quick comparison to the original a moment. Here we go, here's a standard controller. I unfortunately don't have gray, so it's blue versus gray. But yeah, they feel, the, the sticks literally feel the exact same to move around. This one's a bit more stiff, because it's been used a lot. Uh, but yeah, this basically just feels like a new N64 controller. And on the back, they're basically the same, same sort of screw locations. Uh, everything apart from the memory pack is the same. And, and the top two, that's different. But without further ado, let us test some games. I feel like I'm dual wielding right now, which you could do in GoldenEye. That was very cool to do this. Okay, so our first game is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and as you can see, whoa, we have full camera movement. You can also move around in full 3D space with the analog stick, so we are well on our way to moving around Hyrule. However, the N64 controller does lack some buttons the Switch has, and there's one little problem with this controller, and it's the same for the, the Super Nintendo and NES as well. Uh, for some reason, Nintendo are like, what if you couldn't remap buttons? Any reason why, Nintendo? Nope. Just don't want you to. <laughs> so we can sprint around. Uh, the A button is interactive. If there's an NPC nearby, we can interact with them. And you might be seeing right there the Z button, very ideally, resets the camera. Just like the N64 games. That's very cool. But let's go ahead and talk to someone. Like, there's a kid right here. Hey, kid. So that's cool. We can talk to them. We can run. Um, that's all we can do, really, from the face of it. However... There's also some back buttons. We figured out that Zed moves the camera around, which is cool. But we're lacking our sword. The sword is on a different button the N64 doesn't have. However, though, we can access our Sheikah abilities. So if I were to go to the bomb, I can press L to bring it out, R to throw it, and again, L to detonate. So we, we do have some offensive abilities, just not the sword. And I think we have the ability to use our bow as well. If I were to press, uh, R is throw, okay. Ah, the button I'm missing! ZR! So that is, this is literally here to access the menu on the app. But, it also gives us access to the bow in Breath of the Wild. Right, let's shoot this guy and see what happens. He doesn't care. So your yeah, Breath of the Wild is pretty playable like this. I mean, we don't have access to the sword, so that's, that's kind of, it leaves you a bit open. But it leaves you also, uh, with room for improvisation. So instead of attacking the goblins with your sword, you might use Sheikah abilities or your bow. And if there's a last resort, you can just throw your spear at them. All right, my plan was to get him to walk into a bomb, but he's not doing it. So let's bring the bomb to him. Ha ha! So there's definitely room for victory 
for those who persevere. Oh no. Oh no. Persevere! Another game I want to demonstrate is Demon Turf. Now this isn't out quite yet, but it does come out very soon. And I think N64 fans are going to love this game. Let me show you why. Now you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> so, uh, it's just a very fun 3D platformer with uh, lots of things that people love about the genre. And it feels like, it feels kind of like a lost N64 game with just this very neat visual flair. Uh, and, you know, it does have more inputs than the N64 controller can take. But I've sort of remapped it in a way. And that, that's another cool thing. You can remap buttons in this game. So if you go to controls, you can kind of go, hey, I want this to do that and this to do that. So there's no need to rely on the system... Uh, wide control remapping but yeah everything you need is here the camera's here the movement's here uh jumping is thankfully here that's kind of a big one and also there's punching now punching was one that was inaccessible originally with this controller but i remapped it in a way that um allowed me to punch to my heart's content is that the combat over yeah so we'll just keep jumping around for a little bit but i actually think this is a really really neat game and i can't wait for us to cover it in more depth but there's just lots of cool platforming potential. Oh no! Oh no! Oh look, nothing happened. How cool is that? So, as I was saying, this is just a very, very cool game. With lots of neat flares and flourishes. And it feels right at home playing with an N64 controller. Probably more accurate with a Pro controller, just because you've got more inputs and it's it's slightly better as a controller. But you get, you get this kind of like nice nostalgic feeling. And one cool thing too is pressing up gives us... Or is that up or left? There you go, left. Gives us manual and automatic camera. So you don't want to rely on the C buttons for the camera. You don't really have to. But yeah, this is one I do recommend playing as a whole, because it's just a really fun game. But if you want to get like a nice little, nice little retro throwback with this, then this is the game for you. They said it couldn't be done. Final Fantasy VII on a cartridge with a Nintendo 64 controller. What world are we living in? So I've already thought of one problem. Uh, we can't open the menu. <laughs> <laughs> is there a way? Let's just mash buttons. ZR? No. Yeah, I don't think we can. We can pause the game. We can move around. We can get into battles and fight if one were to approach. But I, I don't think we can open the menu. Well, is it is it possible to beat Final Fantasy VII without healing or saving? Because if so, we can do it. I mean, we can literally do anything else. We can fight, we can use magic, we can play regularly, we can we can run when we're in uh, towns and everything. We just can't open the menu. But really, you don't, need, you don't need menus in RPGs. You know, one thing we can do though, let's try this. Let's press X from here. Because we can, we can technically use the Joy-Con to open up the menu. Config? Can we change the button layout? No? Alright, so technically you can play. You can use this for most things. And then... If you need to heal, then you go to this. And then, hey, we're golden. So, yeah, it, it's totally playable. I don't know why we play Smash with this, because Smash didn't start on the GameCube. Smash started on N64, meaning everyone is used to playing the game with this thing rather than the GameCube controller. And thankfully, hey, we can play, we can play Smash just fine with this. But one thing I do recommend doing first is going into control remapping. Uh, you can either make it just like the N64 version and have this speed jump, or turn on tap jump, because otherwise we, we literally don't have any jump. So uh, we should probably do that. Now this takes me back. One thing I've got to get used to, when I, whenever I play Smash 64, up on the C button is jump for me. Uh, so I'm not used to that. But yeah, tap jump, which is something I never use. So we've got to get used to that. What What's grab and what's... Okay, R is grab, Z is shield. That's fine. We're fine with that. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and just um, beat Link to a Pulp. No more Link, as I say. That's my catchphrase. But yeah, this seems pretty doable. I, I think you could probably win some online matches legitimately this way. And, uh, oh, I mistimed that. <laughs> let's just go ahead and grab him. Oh! Oh! I am not used to this! You better not beat me, Link. No more. Go ahead. <laughs> Beat me if you can. I've got the counter on my side. Oh god, I'm I'm not good with an N64 controller. But I did win! And that's all that matters. So yeah, Smash is totally playable. It's more than playable. It's ideal. This is the ideal setup for Smash. 
So Dark Souls was another one that really was ideal for the N64 controller, because we can access pretty much anything. Like the menu's right there, we can lean on the D-pad and equip things. There's, there's really nothing you can't do apart from target. And you've got to play like this, because the shield's on the R button. <laughs> so this is, this is how people think an N64 controller is used. And for Dark Souls, it pretty much is going to be. Now I'm not going to play through the entire game today with this. But we will defeat the first boss, at least, who's going to be easy. So we're going to get our shield in a moment, I believe, right over here. And we can very easily- Oh, no, 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 no! We can very easily just go up, and then whoop, and that's the wrong place. We go up, and go down to our shield. See, it's so easy to navigate. That's the problem. It's too easy. And then we've got to play like this to get our shield out. Oh, no. Oh, no, we can't use the Estus Flask, can we? I don't think we can. No. <laughs> no, we can't. Oh, well, you don't need healing in Dark Souls. I've already taken some unnecessary damage, so uh, my courage isn't high. But it's okay. We don't need courage. We just need confidence. God, this is so awkward to control. Ah. <laughs> uh... It's okay. Uh, my finger, my thumb even, has had much better days than this. It's okay, we'll just stay in the back. Oh. Come here, you. Let's just go to your backside. Give us your backside. Oh, oh god, I'm stuck. Just let me get behind you, good sir. Oh, let's, let's just whack him. Let's just whack him! He's dead. Easy. Give me the final boss. So if anything, Dark Souls was too easy. But what better way to end than N64 Rainbow Road? And I've not tried this just yet, so I'm still not confident what button is item. Is it, is it ZL? Yeah. And then that's Drift. Cool! So this is just like playing Mario Kart 64 now, just in a much higher resolution. But you can do anything. You can steer, you can go up, you can go down, you can use items. It's just like playing the game with a regular controller. God, this is cozy. In fact, I will shut up for a bit. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments below. And of course, go to that subscribe button and pick it up with an N64 controller. And we will see you next time. But enjoy the race! Bye, fellas!